got so many messages about that leopard skin effect uh, in the safari bracelet tutorial that I decided to show you a few more ways of making some beautiful effects with that technique. As you can see in this one I have uh, put one strip of a magenta pearl and one strip of sunset pearl in the primo line and I am making a very very narrow line skinner blend if you want I only need a little bit of um, gradient between the two colors now of course you can use uh, any kind of uh, color of metallic or pearlescent in doing uh, that combination with the black but what I want to show you is other combinations as you can see I have cut my little strip in small pieces and I am putting them end to end and then I will create a new sausage out of this strip that I will then combine in the twisting with a pearl white primo. The trick whenever you're using a single color in the sausage, do not make it uh, lined up. Try to make it at, as choppy as possible to obtain a maximum of mica shift. Also, you need to be aware that the size of the spots will be uh, very much relative to the thinness of the sausages that you make. As you will see here, I made fairly thicker sausages and um, you'll see that when I cut, uh, the spots are a little bit more elongated. They are not uh, so much spotted. Nevertheless, uh, the effect is just beautiful and because I have used a very chopped up and unruly pearl white there is a lot of mica shift effect in the white area as well Isn't this gorgeous? And you can imagine once it's baked and sanded and buffed, it will look fabulous. Now let's try something else. I have a pearl white, peacock pearl and a violet pearl, purple pearl. And I am doing a Skinner blend, a gradient with them. Only that this time I am going to do it just as a regular Skinner blend that I am going to um, roll with the white inside, with the white end inside. And then I am going to use this to make the sausage for the twisty rope. And I will uh, combine it with again with a white pearl. Only that you'll see that this time I am going to really mash that white pearl. So even chop it a little bit just to get even more uh, mica shift effects in the area of the white. I would not advise to do uh, gradient effects on both sausages because then your pattern gets a little bit too crowded and you don't want that honestly. You can um, slightly put a, I don't know, just a little bit of uh, maybe yellow sunshine in the white, but I would just leave it as is. And then, of course, exactly like for the other ones, you twist it and then you create a little block with those twists.
and then all you have to do is simply to consolidate the block and slice it. And then just roll it. I would not advise you to uh, go with it through the pasta machine because uh, getting it smushed in the pasta machine might reduce some of that mica shift. The roller is more advisable. And a look at these beautiful effects. Yes, we will make something with it in a future tutorial. And the last one, and it's not really the last, you can try all kinds of combinations of colors and Skinner blend. But on this one, I will simply make a bullseye cane. And I put in the middle a sausage of gold that I am wrapping in copper. Again, all this is primo. And then uh, I will wrap it in black. So it's gold in the middle wrapped in copper then wrapped it wrapped in black it doesn't really matter how thick your sheets are make them thin enough to be used for wrapping because you're going to do the sausage anyway uh, all you have to decide is the thinness of the black that will be the most noticeable if you want uh, larger uh, spots then just make the sheet of black a little bit thicker and then after that i will uh, wrap the whole thing in um, antique gold and then the, for the second sausage i am simply using just plain old gold metallic and i will make two sausages you notice that i did uh, a little bit more for this specific one and i will show you why in a minute but uh, what needs to be done now is simply to you know reduce and elongate those sausages and then twist them exactly like for all the other combinations and then using the twisty rope you just made just fold it and refold it and simply create a block Can you use two different uh, direction twisted ropes? Absolutely. And uh, not in this specific, not in the one with the bullseye, but the one with the Skinner blend, blend roll. Uh, it will look more beautiful. Uh, you can alternate the pieces of a rope uh, twisted in different directions and you'll get uh, a little bit more of a pattern a different pattern not more of a pattern it's just a little bit different but all these combinations will give you gorgeous results can you do it with regular opaque clay absolutely and um, they will look beautiful only that i recommend if you do it with regular opaque clay if you use uh, simply two colors two different colored uh, sausages make them fairly thin and make a fairly thin rope and there we go this is what we are going to make with this in a future tutorial <music> 